Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. You know how much we love catching up with former Wildcats. Now we're going to go to Italy to talk to one of our favorites. Former UK star Macy Morris is in Italy playing professional basketball. Thanks for being with us, Macy. How are things going? Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, they're going really well right now. Uh, we actually just had a couple of our games canceled, but we're getting back to playing this weekend, so I'm really excited about that. Is that due to the coronavirus? Yes. Okay. Talk, talk. I know that's a huge topic just all over the whole world right now. I was going to get to in a minute, but you brought it up. Mm -hmm. What has that been like? Has it been scary? Um, I would say like a couple of weeks ago, it was just because we didn't really know much about it. And people here kind of like freaked out, I guess, how they're doing in the United States right now, just like going to the grocery store and like buying everything up. But now it's calmed down a lot and you don't really hear about it over here much anymore. Crazy. Well, you're not wearing a surgical mask, so I appreciate that. <laughs> um, let's get let's get yeah, to you now <laughs> and basketball, um, because you were such a tremendous star here and so much fun to watch. And that success has really translated for you over there. You're leading your team in scoring. You're still shooting the lights out of the three. Is um, is basketball the same game, or is it a little different over there? It's the same, except they run a lot more. I was thinking getting out of Kentucky, I wouldn't have to run as much, but they run more than I did at UK. So we don't really have a lot of sets. You just kind of read each other, a lot of more like back doors and cutting and uh, making reads. But um, I feel like basketball is the same everywhere. I mean, you don't have to speak the same language to be able to play basketball, so it's nice. What's the adjustment culturally been like for you? For me, I think the biggest culture, like when I got over here, was like in the summer, like the, towards the end of the summer, and it was extremely hot. And they don't have air conditioning, and they don't like to use ice. So that was a very big adjustment for me because I was sweating everywhere. <laughs> I was like taking a shower constantly. Um, and then just the way they live their life, they um, they eat their meals a lot later in the day, and it's just a way more laid back um, culture here. It's not like America where everything's go, go, go. Here it's way, it's um, more relaxing. So once this basketball season is done, what are your plans? Do you want to continue to play overseas professionally? Are you wanting to return to the States? What What would you like to do? Uh, you know, I, I still don't know. I'm, I've, been, I've been praying about it and just hoping God will leave me and give me an answer. But um, right now I'm just going with the flow with whatever happens. Um, I could see myself coming back over here and playing again or uh, getting into coaching or going back to school. It's it's really just up in the air right now. Now, do you keep in touch with some of your former teammates? Because like Michaela Epps is coaching here in Woodford County now. And um, I know some mm -hmm. of your other former teammates are, are doing the same same thing. Do you keep in contact with them? I do. So uh, me and Epps hit each other up every now and then. And then um, obviously me and Taylor Murray, we, we talk pretty much every day. She's over. She's in Hungary, so we're we're on the same time zone, so it's a little a little bit easier to talk to her. And then I still talk to some of my former teammates that's on the team still. And um, Mackenzie can. I talk to her almost every day as well. So it's just it's it's nice being able to keep up with them. So you saw that Ryan Howard won SEC Player of the Year, I imagine. I did. I mean, I'm not really shocked, but I did see that she got it. <laughs> um, and so you've been following uh, this this team a little bit. Um, I The Final Four is something that I feel like has always been like one or two steps away for this group so many times. Um, how much mm -hmm. do you want to see these guys finally get to that spot? I mean, I would love it. It'd be so big for, for the program, and I know how hard they work, and um, – they yeah, have a great pl player like Ryan to like lead the way for them. And so it's, it's an exciting time. It's March Madness. And so anything can happen. And I hope all the luck, the best luck is all with them because I, I want to see them go as far as possible. Okay. I got to ask, like Italian food seems like it would be amazing. What has been the best thing you've eaten over there? I'm in Tuscany. And so they're famous for their Tuscan steak. And so it's like this humongous T-bone. And that's probably the most delicious thing I've had because I'm a huge steak person. And um, I've had some really great pasta like lasagna, um, some gnocchi is 
amazing too. There's just so much. Oh, and the gelato. You can't forget the gelato. It, the gelato is amazing too. Have you made some good friends on the team? I know you've got, um, you know, some other obviously Americans on your squad. Uh, yes. Yeah, so my roommate is, she actually played at Duke. And so we played against each other when I was in college. She's been awesome. She's helped me so much and we've had a lot of fun. And then the other girls on the team, they're su su super nice. And um, they've, they've been helping me out since day one. And so it, it was a great, it was a great fit for me to be here. Well, Macy, we look forward to uh, either watching you coach or watching you play some more professionally. So we wish you all the best and uh, good luck to you. Thank you so much. All right, Macy Morris, coming to you from Italy via Bell County. Thanks, Macy. More Hey Thank Kentucky you. is coming up right after this.